Organic matter is one of the most important things you can take a look at on your soil test. There are many reasons why organic matter is important. One that I'll talk about to start with is something you may not think about all the time and that is organic matter mineralizes. It releases nutrients for future crops. Each year on our farm I take a look at hey how much organic matter do I have and how much nitrogen am I going to get out of that? 20 to 30 pounds per percent of organic matter. So if I have 5% organic matter, that's 100 to 150 pounds of free nitrogen. I'm also going to get roughly 4 to 7 pounds of phosphorus out for every 1% of organic matter and 2 to 3 pounds of sulfur. All right, Brian, that's great. Looking at the dollars and cents, it doesn't surprise me. That's typically where Brian likes to go. But I want to start here. When you think about organic matter, a lot of times uh, I, I've got a cornfield behind me here and, and farmers will say, okay, I, I cut my corn, I've got all this residue on top of the ground, I have all this organic material, that's going to help me build my soil. And you're kind of right in that a cornfield can really have potential to help you build organic matter up in your soil, but it's not so much from the above ground residue. The thing you have to remember with corn plants and most plants out there, they're going to have about as much plant material below the ground as they do above the ground. All that material below the ground, if you leave it undisturbed, it's going to break down naturally and a lot of that root system as it decays is going to become organic matter. The organic material on top of the ground, sure some of that could potentially become organic matter. It can get pulled down in the soil with earthworms and, and other ways and yeah maybe one percent of that above ground stuff is going to become organic matter. It's still important but when I talk about building up organic matter in our soil a lot of times we're dealing with below ground residue. So again organic matter is decayed plant or animal residue. That's really what it is. And that organic matter, that's what you're going to read. That's the number that we're looking for on that soil test. Now, when we talk about benefits, so I already mentioned that, hey, this is great when I can get some nutrients out of that over time. And let me just put this in very simple terms. I find that if I have lots of organic matter out there, my ground is almost squishy. It's almost like a sponge. Okay, that's great because now I can get more water infiltration. I have more oxygen moving in that soil. I have more soil life out there. Those are all really big benefits to organic matter. Brian talked about water a little bit. Let's talk about the water holding capacity of soil. Now there can certainly be differences in soil, clay versus sand and, and different cation exchange capacities and so forth. But the part that organic matter plays in this is really big. As you build organic matter levels in your soil, each 1% increase in organic matter means you can hold 4% more water. And when you think about it, that's a huge deal. If you can build 5% more organic matter in your soil, theoretically you could hold 20% more water, which would be a big, big deal for crop production. Darren mentioned if the organic matter increases, you have more water holding capacity. When the organic matter increases, you have more nutrient holding capacity too. So you can see that, hey, having organic matter, that's a really good thing. How am I going to build that? One of the biggest misconceptions out there is a lot of people think they can do tillage and build organic matter, but that's not correct. If you're doing lots of tillage, what you're doing is you're introducing more oxygen into that ground. And as I've had it explained to me by soil scientists, they say it's kind of like adding fuel to the fire. You burn up the organic matter much faster. So you will actually, in many cases, burn it faster than you're building it. And tillage is the number one reason why in the last 100 years in the United States, you've seen organic matter levels continue to decrease. So the first step if you want more organic matter is you want to reduce tillage. We would also strongly encourage you to plant crops with lots of roots. Corn has five times the root mass of soybeans roughly. Okay, so corn would be a better choice than soybeans in terms of total amount of roots. Use manure or compost, use some cover crops, use biologicals. Those are the five things that we typically are talking about when we want to look at building organic matter. You know, this doesn't happen overnight. It's not that you're going to go from 1% organic matter to 4% overnight. And in certain climates, it's going to be more difficult to build up organic matter because you may have a longer or shorter growing season, because you may have sand uh, rather than uh, heavier soil, that kind of thing. It, it can be a challenge building organic matter. It's something on our farm that we've set 
really our whole farming career, this is one of the objectives that we're going to have, is building organic matter over time. We've been able to do that uh, in the last 20 or 30 years. We've grown our organic matter levels significantly. We've seen this in our state with really a change in tillage operations where more farmers have gone to no-till or reduced tillage operations. We've seen in general in our whole state the organic matter levels going up. So don't believe, well, you're never going to make a difference and it's going to take forever to do this. You can do it in your lifetime, no doubt. One of the things we would encourage you to do is go right to your fence line or some other area that's never been tilled on your farm, do a soil test there, find out the organic matter level, and that tells you at least what you should be at, and you can build it even beyond that level. Well, building organic matter levels in soil is generally a pretty good thing. Another thing that farmers would agree is a great thing is controlling our weed of the week. We'll show you how to do it later in the show.